I'm joined by VOA Somali Senior Editor Mohamed Olad. Mohamed, welcome back again to Africa 54. Thank you so much, Esther. You know what's very notable and very interesting is how many presidents, how many regional leaders were there, diplomats, what is so special and what do you make of this uh, attendance during today's inauguration? Well, uh, apart from the being inauguration for Somali president, the today's inauguration was uh, uh, something that signifies the importance of Somalia strategically and, and where it lies in the region because a lot of rivalries appear. Uh, Ethiopia, Egypt, who are fighting over Nile were there. Uh, United Arab Emirates, Qatar were there. United Arab Emirates considers now its close ally to President Mahmoud and before it was uh, uh, against the, uh, the former President Mohammed Abdullah Farmajo. Kenya, who lost uh, which lost a uh, uh, maritime case against Somalia. This president was there. Uh, so a lot of rivalries were there. So, and, and all of them were uh, 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 legend support for the Somali president and the government. So it showed that a lot of people there, even Ismail Omar Ghele, the president of Djibouti, who, was not, uh, who had no good relationship with the former president, was also there. And all of them had one so one pledge and, and, and vision, and they said they will support Somalia in the uh, uh, fight against Al Shabaab, uh, drought, and all things coming up ahead of the present. You Hassan. mentioned the drought, you mentioned the famine, actually. You know, there's a crisis there, and this is coming on the heels of, you know, the pandemic. Almost every other country is reeling from that. How, what is he promising to do to be able to tackle these challenges? Well, uh, first, he implored the international community to help save lives of uh, Somali innocent people, who are people who are on the verge of starvation, famine. And, 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 and apart from that, he said that his government is planning two things. The first thing he said is an urgent, and he will um, ask the international community and international partners to help Somalia avert the upcoming famine. And uh, the other thing he said, his government is establishing an agency that will deal with the future drought situations he says the drought in Somalia has been repeating due to climate change, due to other uh, human-made uh, disasters like uh, deforestation, and uh, the cutting trees and doing bad things on the environment. So he says environmental agents will be established and, and, and urgently uh, he will uh, ha uh, seek help from the international community to save lives in Somalia and affect this, this is his second uh, time as president. It's not a successive term. He was there in 2012 to 2017. What is he promising to do differently this time round for the people of Somalia? Well, uh, that question was asked even by this VOA when he took the uh, office uh, uh, two weeks ago. President Hassan said he learned his from his past. Uh, he has been watching five years over while he was not present, and he has been facing challenges while he was present for another f nearly five years. So he says due to his, these experiences, he will not repeat his mistakes, and he will, uh, he's the only person in Somalia who got chance to be elected for two times since the collapse of President Muhammad Siad Bari in 1991. So he says due to that experience of being a president, and again being a, a, an opposition leader, and then coming back to the president right. will help him learn from his mistakes and he says he will not repeat the mistakes he has done. 